Here's Darren Wong, consultant with Karen Business Solutions. Did you know you could connect to Sage 300 from anywhere? When you are out of the office and need access to Sage 300 to prepare for an important meeting, you need web screens. Once web screens are set up for you, simply open up your favorite browser and log in with the same credentials you use back at the office. From the left, I can select the module I want to work with and drill down to the functionality of interest. At this point, I can go ahead and enter a new invoice arising from my meeting. Next, I want to drill down to customers and review the payment history of the folks I am visiting. The really nice thing is that I can switch between as many windows as I happen to have open. I also have the ability to drill down to other windows from this line here rather than going back to the module itself over here on the left. And if I close these windows that I currently have open, I can always bring them back by selecting recently used windows from here. Sometimes I simply want to see at a glance the KPIs that are most important to me. For that, I use what are called widgets to select the data sets that I need to see. Let's select Income from Operations and Income and Expenses. I can click on Settings to give options that might be different from the default that's currently in play. For example, Suppose I wanted to see what my income was in March of this year. I would make that selection and click Save, and the widget would immediately adapt to my request. Let me close these widgets and show you something that is only available through web screens. I click here to access the Query Tools. There is at least one inquiry available for each module, so let's select Purchase History. We click to open and save it with a new name and leave the access to public. I click on this ellipsis button and deselect the columns that I don't want. I can then click on Filter and customize each column. For example, under Item Number, let's say that we want only those items that start with A1, and we apply the filter. The program responds to the instruction and notes up here that the filter has been applied. I can also adjust the fiscal period to show items that are greater than or equal to 1 and are less than or equal to 3 and apply the filter. Now what I'm looking at is the purchase history by vendor for items that start with A1 for the first quarter of this year. I can even drag and drop a column into this upper bar here to sort my information based on that specific column. Now I save the changes that I have made to this query and click Yes. The next time I want to access this query, I click on the Inquiries button go to Custom Queries, and simply pull up my customized inquiry. For professional help setting up your web screens for anywhere access, contact us or reach out directly to Darren Wong. So now you know.